Hi YouTube. Um, I'm going to really make this one quick. I'm going to do two videos today. I'm going to do this about me tag and then I'm going to do a 21 week update right after so you'll get both of those but I really need to hurry this up because I have to do 24 questions in 15 minutes and I've tried doing this already today and it's really hard. So um, and if you want me to like explain or elaborate on any of these just message me and ask me and I'll be sure to like respond but I'm just kind of going to give you like you know, the answers. Um, do you have a middle name? Yes, my middle name is Noel. A lot of people mistake Noel for my last name because I put it on my Facebook like Glenda Noel. So, um, it's my middle name, not my last name. Um, what is your favorite subject in school? Um, it really depends on the teacher which really makes my favorite subject, but this year my favorite subject is Prob and Stats, which is really surprising because I don't really like math. But subject-wise, just as an overall like education thing, um, it would have to be history. What's your favorite drink? Um, virgin pina coladas and sweet tea. What's your favorite song at the moment? Um, actually, I was listening to Plies today, so I'd have to say Bust It Baby by Plies. They're part one, not part two. Um, but I do like part two. Anyway, so I just, I don't know, I kind of got into that, so that's kind of my favorite song at the moment. Um, but it is really hard for me to have a favorite song because um, a lot of songs get, like, repeated and played out. So it gets really hard to really like something, especially with the radio because they just, they suck at their jobs. Anyway, um, what would you name your kids? Well, I am currently waiting um, on a little boy to arrive, and his name is going to be Jaden Tyler. Um, and if I was having a girl, it would be Aubrielle Renee. So those are my two names. Um, do you participate in any sports? No, not at the moment I don't. But I've played um, lots of sports, uh, a variety. Um, I've played baseball for a long time, since I was like 5 to maybe like 11. Um, so I did that every season. Um, for like five or six years. I played one year of softball and I kind of stopped with that. I've done karate, I've done gymnastics, I've done cheerleading, um, yeah, swimming, I've, I've, I've done tons of stuff. Um, but my favorite sport is dance. Um, I love to dance. It's like a really, pa like a really big passion of mine. I've been dancing like since I was little. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I took a, a class, a dance class, um, a sophomore year, which is last year. Um, and I am a senior now, just to let you guys know. I think I've talked about how I'm skipping, like I skipped up so I can graduate early. But anyway, yeah, I took um, a dance class, loved it. Um, can't this year because of me being pregnant and it'd be really kind of hard. So um, hopefully I'll continue with that once I graduate. Um, maybe at, maybe in college or, sorry, I got a text. Um, or, you know, just outside of school altogether, like a studio or something. But, um, favorite book? Uh, I like Twilight. But instead of just saying Twilight like everybody else or girls my age, um, I like historical fiction because I do like history. Um, I like romance novels. I like anything like I like good reading like you know if anything just strikes my interest I like it you know I mean and that's pretty much how everybody is I mean I don't have the discipline or the attention to sit down and read a book at home so I have to be like I don't know I just have to be in my own zone like if I go to a library or if I'm at school and I'm sitting down and I have to read and I read and I get into it I want to read so that's good. The only book I ever really had the discipline to read was Twilight because I could not put it down. And if it's that interesting, I will, but a lot of the times I can't, I don't have the discipline enough to get into a book far enough to where I can't put it down. So it's kind of hard for me to really have a, a favorite book. Um, favorite color? Purple, of course. Um, I love purple and I know my room is pink, but that's because um, I chose the comforter and it went with the pattern. It looks really nice. Um, so I kind of just went with that. I kind of want purple now, but I really like how it is. So um, it's probably going to stay this way. Um, favorite animal? I don't necessarily have a favorite animal. Um, just because 
I, I, I just don't. I mean, I like animals. I have um, a puppy named Cinnamon. She's a miniature poodle. She doesn't really look like a poodle, though. So I don't give her that weird, retarded cut. But, um, she's, yeah, she's really cute. I love my puppy. Um, but hair is, like, really weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't really have a favorite animal. I have, like... The type of animal I would choose is like my favorite or something that I really like think is cool would be like jungle cats like panthers and tigers and stuff. I really like the um like the Siberian tigers, you know, like the white tigers and stuff. Those are really pretty. And I also like Siberian huskies. I think they're just like really interesting dogs and stuff. Wolves are pretty too. I don't know. But um I don't necessarily have like a favorite animal. Favorite perfume? Um, I don't necessarily have one of those either. I like the Halle Berry collection. Um, I have both of those. Um, I really just like any perfume that smells good and, you know, it's not too overbearing or too strong. Um, I like light, pretty smells, um, and I'm pretty sure everyone around me does. So I don't want to, uh, you know, like go crazy with perfume, but I do like um, pretty much anything that smells good. Favorite holiday? Halloween. Um, cause that's me and Tyler's anniversary. I know it's weird, but yeah, um, it wasn't necessarily planned that way. Um, I'm not weird into Halloween or anything. It just so happened to be October 31st. Um, but that's a whole different story. Um, anyway, but yes, October 31st, 2009. That's why I love Halloween. Um, have you graduated high school? No, like I said, I'm a senior in high school this year. I jumped up for my junior year and gained enough credits to become a senior. So I am a senior. I will graduate this year in May. Not this year in May. May 2012 because May isn't this year. But anyway, um, yeah, this school year. Anyway, have you been out of the country? If so, how many times? Yes, I have been out of the country. Been out of the country twice. Once when I was a baby. I went to Canada. My parents went on a cruise. And the second time, I went on a cruise this January. Loved it. Um... I went to the U.S. Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands, the Dominican Republic, and Great Stirp K. Um, I went to certain cities in there, but I'm not going to list all of those. Um, I had a lot of fun. I do recommend Norwegian Cruise Lines. And, um, yes, because they go to lots of different places. If you guys are, if anyone's interested in taking a cruise, look up Norwegian. They go to, like, they have Europe cruises. They have Pacific. They have a lot of cruises. And they go different places, and they're absolutely amazing really really good line um anyway oh yeah my parents are going because they go every year they've been going every year for I forget how many years now but they've been going for a while they just took me for my 16th birthday um as a gift and I won't get to go this year I was going to go but I can't because I will have a newborn so um and they're going and they're really and they're going to the Bahamas and I was just telling my mom like right before I found out where they were going oh I want to go to Nassau I really want to go and then she's like you're gonna hate me when I tell you this I'm like what she's like that's where we're going on our cruise and I'm like oh my god I was so upset but I'll be okay I'll be at home with little Jaden and they'll be missing me and him so it's okay um I'll go again eventually do you speak any other language um not fluently but I do speak a little bit of Spanish I'm taking Spanish two this year how many siblings do you have and I can actually say that um, sentence in Spanish. I just learned that. So hold on, let me think about this for a second. Um, what? What is it? Quantos? Because quantos is how many? Well, do you have would be like tango or manos? And I don't know. Quantos? I have a sheet somewhere. It's like Cuantos Hermanos or something like that. I really, like, I could say this and it's in Spanish. I'm upset that I don't, I can't, like, say the whole thing. I don't know, like, Tango Hermano. I don't know. It's something like that. I mean, because Tango is like I have. And then Cuantos is how many. How many, and siblings would be, like, brothers and sisters, and that would be Hermanos. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, yes, I do have siblings. Um, my dad has... One stepdaughter, one daughter, and two sons from previous marriages. 
My mom has one stepdaughter from a previous marriage, and I am the only product of my mother and my father. I'm my own, I'm my mother's only biological child. So yeah, I don't have any like full blooded like full blood. You know, like not half, but I don't have any like brothers and sisters like that. What is your favorite store? Um, I don't want to go there now because I'm depressed because I can't fit their their clothes. Not really, anyway. Um, like, like I wear like regular jeans and stuff. I just go up a size, you know, and I kind of tuck them under my stomach just a little bit. I really don't have a problem wearing regular clothes. I'm not carrying that big. Um, but anyway, favorite store: Rue Twenty One, Charlotte Ruth, uh, Body Central, It's Fashion, stuff like that. Um, I like colors, and I like matching in belts and shoes, and I'm really like a fashionista, if anyone really knows me. Um, before I got pregnant, I really just kind of like, I was like amazing with all that stuff, but um, now I just kind of, you know, go with whatever's comfortable and whatever fits. And I still try to look nice and um, dress up, but it's kind of hard now, and I don't really care for it as much now, because I'm just trying to be comfortable with all the other stuff I have to deal with, so... Yeah, you understand when you get pregnant, you don't really care about dressing up. Um, if you if you have kids, I'm pretty sure you know when you were pregnant, you don't you didn't feel like dressing up. But anyway, um, favorite restaurant? I like Mexican food, I like Chinese food, and I like Japanese food. So any restaurant that really has that on the menu is good for me. But um, I'd have to say like La Hacienda or La Coretta um, is good. I also like Italian. I love spaghetti. It is my favorite food, um, especially now. When I'm pregnant, I thought I was really worried I was going to hate spaghetti, but I love spaghetti. I just had it for dinner tonight, actually. absolutely love spaghetti. Anyway, do you like school? Yes, I like school. It's um, it's a good thing. I don't necessarily like going every day. I don't like waking up at 5.30, but you kind of have to get over it. And I really, uh, I don't like school this much this year. And I know it's my senior year. I should be happy. But being pregnant kind of, you know, weighs you down and tired and everything. And then on top of that... I don't have a lunch or any really big social time. I go from class to class with really no break, so it's really kind of hard for me to enjoy myself. But um, it's really not that bad. Um, favorite YouTuber, uh, Brooklyn Davis, which is Carly's mommy. Um, Lindsay and Baby, which is um, Lindsay and Brayden. Uh, and Channing and Jovi's channel. I forget what her thing is, but yeah, Channing and Jovi. I like them. Um, favorite movie? That is a good question. I like the Twilight series. Love the Twilight series. Can't wait for Breaking Dawn to come out. Um, I'm super excited for that. But, um, I like, like, I don't know. I like horror movies. I like romance movies. I like romantic comedies. I love to laugh. I like, um, I, I just watch The Change Up, Horrible Bosses. Planet of the Apes, Cowboys and Aliens. They're coming out with a lot of good movies now. Like, pretty much anything that's, like, really, like, new release, I like. Um, because I've already seen them. But, um, the movies I really like. I really like the new, the, the Planet of the Apes. That was a really good movie. I liked the new Final Destination, even though it was really creepy. And violent. Killing-ish, but yeah. Favorite TV show? That'd be Family Guy, Pretty Little Liars. Um, I love Pretty Little Liars, which I have been slack, slacking on, so I need to do that. Um, and, yeah, stuff like that. PC or Mac? Mac. I have a Mac. I'm on my Mac. I love the Mac. Um, they're great, and once you learn how to work them and you get your programs right um, and converted from having a PC, um, it's really pretty easy, and it's like... I love it. I absolutely love it. I have a webcam built in and everything. It's just fabulous. And I mean, I know PCs have that too, but I just love my Mac. It's so easy. Um, what kind of phone do you have? I have a crappy uh, rumor touch. Don't ever get it. It drops calls, messages mess up, and it's horrible. And I plan on getting a new one whenever I can. Um, I have like 30 seconds, so I have one more question left. How tall are you? I'm like 5'7". 5'8". I don't think I'm really 5'8", but I don't know. It's something like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, 5'8", five, somewhere around in there. So I'm kind of tall, um, I guess. But anyway, um, those are my 24 questions. If you have any questions about my questions, you can just message me or whatever. So I'll see you in my 21-week video.
Bye, YouTube.